Uh, we will start the Human Week Summit with a very exciting conversation. I have two valuable guests from different generations, born into quite different cultures, and they are at different life stages. On one hand, we have Mr. Murat Ülker here, together with me, who is a well-recognized global businessman. On the other hand of the line is Perti Polonen from Finland. Perti is a futurist inventor, won EU's biggest science competition for youth, and has written two books. One of them is here which is also translated into Turkish. And Mr. Ülker, who is chairman at Pledis and Godivia and board member at Yildiz Holding, is also an author of two books, one of which won the prize of best business book in 2021. Welcome, both of you. I don't want to take too much time of yours. I would like to move on to the questions. You were talking about being happy and making happy. Uh, it reminds me one line in your book, part two. I cannot say it by by mind but you were saying that we shouldn't focus on ha- being happy i think you were talking about recreating yourself and motivation or something in your book that was it yeah, well, i i made a distinction between happiness and fulfillment and i mean it comes down to what word one prefers to use but for me happiness is i mean first of all we're obsessed with it you know i think everybody's talking about it we we try to achieve it we try to you know so for me happiness is kind of easy in a way that there are many ways to become happy. I mean, I can think of 100 different ways. I can, you know, go to a vacation, I can go to a concert and I feel happy and that's nice. But things that come easy might go easy as well. I mean, if a pandemic hits and all the concerts are, you know, canceled or if I can't go on a vacation, I feel like my happiness was taken from me. But rather, if I don't try to become happy but fulfilled you know then i have a meaning i have a purpose and fulfillment is more difficult like with happiness i can think of 100 ways to become happy but how can i live a fulfilled life there are no 100 things in my mind straight away i have to really stop to think what is a fulfilled life but the thing is when i find one way to live a fulfilled life no matter what happens there might be another pandemic but still i know that what i do has a purpose like there i feel fulfilled so i think that's just like nuance that i've tried to kind of remember that fulfillment is something that lasts for a very long time happiness can kind of come and go but you know purpose is really what helps us go through even the tough times so i think one way to kind of test if you are if what you're trying to do is kind of because of happiness or fulfillment is how you are able to you know take problems or challenges when they occur like when something bad happens do you just you know give up and like do you completely you know get sad about it and do you kind of because then it might be happiness you have a project you have a goal and something bad happens everything goes bad but if you are fulfilled and there is a challenge you feel like well i'm empowered i will solve this challenge like this is important i want to continue working even though there are challenges and i think ambition and passion we sometimes kind of mix them what i think is ambition is when you ask somebody what would you do if you knew that you would not fail right then that tells something about your ambition you know if you would succeed no matter what what would you do but if i ask you what would you do knowing that you will fail anyway that's passion because that's still important to do you know you won't be perfect parent you won't be a perfect leader you won't be perfect this and that there are going to be mistakes but still it's worth doing right it's still important so i think that's passion so we have to kind of just make sure is it happiness is it ambition or is it fulfillment is it passion that's right but for fulfillment i think a person has to know what he or she wants for himself or herself that's also yeah. very important And this take me to the question to you, Mr. Rika, because in one of your articles, you were saying that we need young people who know what they they want. What do you mean by that? I think it is just an explanation of uh, what uh, Pertu said, uh, because uh, they must have a target, a passion, and then practice that. If you said, I mean, if people are just here to make themselves happy, then we are just uh, going in 60s, you know. Hippie is a typical Delhi circus. <laughs> I mean, which is which is not uh, the ultimate solution. We have seen that. So when you say it is not happiness only, it is satisfaction that you feel yourself fulfilled that you have done your job, like like performing a good deed. So in my life, for example, what my target is, I must perform a good deed 
means I must do something good to somebody, even it is not my favor. Mm -hmm. So if I can overcome this, then I feel fulfilled. You know, I bring my personality up to another scale. So that we must bring to everybody in the life. It is not business, corporate, family, society, but we must put that, I mean, as the main goal of life. And that is why we say, I mean, uh, it is not important what you do. It is mostly more important what you intend to do. If you intend a good thing, but still not succeed, you yeah, still get a plus in my life. But if you just intend to a good thing and you succeed that is a plus plus but it can be the other way you had a bad intention but you didn't perform it still it can be a plus <laughs> <laughs> though maybe it, it was not your um, i mean the target in your life you really want to be a bad guy but you couldn't do it so it is your okay. destiny a good thing <laughs> And I think the, the worst thing that can happen for us is that you your intention is bad. You, you, you want to do something bad and you succeed in it <laughs> because nothing is worse than, you know, being successful in the completely wrong things. And I think this is something, I mean, we should all ask ourselves, you know, our, our greatest fear should not be failure, but rather succeeding in something that doesn't matter. Because if we then get what we wanted. And we look back, we say, well, it didn't really matter at all. Like, Otherwise, we have to reset ourselves or the yes. society reset ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so like making sure that the goals we have or the things we do really um, are worth our time and effort. I think this is, this is important for everybody, but especially for the young people to think, what is it that the world means? What do I want to do? What is you know, something that I want to give my time for? I'm I'm very impressed by those. I conversations. fully agree with all this. <laughs> Thank you. You know Thank what? You. I mean, you're it's to me kind of um, unbelievable because you are coming from different generations. You are coming from quite a different backgrounds, born into different uh, cultures, but you agree with each other, and you're talking about almost the same things. We are, we are all women. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just met for the first time too, so also and virtually <laughs> even so. There's so a on this occasion, yes. do you want to ask your, ask to each other something? Do you have any question for Mr. Ricard, for instance, Patrick, or well, vice versa? Maybe, since you are 351 years old, <laughs> uh, you can, I mean, I am 26, and obviously there's, there's many decades left for me to work, and there's a lot of things ahead of me. Um, I mean, we don't know each other too well yet, but any type of advice for me, or generally, For people who will be there in 2080, probably, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, you know, as I said, uh, intention must be good deed, work hard, but also entertain yourself. Maybe I am the guy in the company. I don't know if it's true or not, but they say, I mean, I'm a hardworking guy. Let's take this correct. But I'm also the guy having most of the hobbies. Mm. I have done around the world sailing. I dive in all the oceans, in all the famous places. Mm. But I will be doing board meetings also at the same time. You know, I'm a photographer. I've done uh, so many hobbies, I don't even remember some of them. <laughs> <laughs> And that was my father's advice to me always. Get a hobby, get another hobby, do something different. He never forced me to work in summer vacations, but mostly pushed me to travel and get a hobby, another hobby, another thing to entertain and satisfy myself. At the end, I end up uh, training uh, cost accounting on the summer vacation. Mm. <laughs> wow. I think that could be a good homework for all of the people watching. You know, start a new hobby, something new. Most probably those hobbies are keeping you young and hardworking. You know, being young is, of course, another thing. We can easily exchange 351 to 26. <laughs>